free skirmisher. Oh god. This is the part where I'm surprised we don't lose sh like everything once they like come at us from the flank here. Especially like now when they're shooting at our uh, infantry. Cavalry! I like how my cab is just sitting there, not doing fuck all against these. You just follow me. Their cab is not an issue. These guys are the issue. An angle like that that pisses me off so much. And now they're gonna retreat. Three kills already. Ah, shit. Maybe we need to start taking a lot of losses. This bunch. Disband all these guys. Okay, can we? No, we cannot. Why would we? Hundred mules, though. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that will give us a pretty big herd. Can we 
Weg. It's already slowing us down. My part capacity, anyway. 170. I think that's him. We'll see if we can dump these anywhere. I think that's gonna be it for this uh, stream anyway. Done a whole lot. Had a couple of bundles for this. Mm, I think they just blocked it out. No, never mind. There's an actual army there. Sit here for a minute, see what's gonna happen. Hit an enemy with the in the head with the pole arm, you deal 50% more damage. Your couch land now, we're not couching our lands. Where the fuck did that army go? Forty prisoners, we can't dump any in there. That's for sure. Where are our armies? Okay, there's one there. Yeah, that's not an army, that's just one party. Good more troops. I think that's yeah, that's still bugged out, unfortunately. Never mind. We're gonna get six of those, I guess. Wait a minute. It's a gin. Never mind. Now it's being besieged. Ah, oh, fuck you, game, and your fucking prisoner limits. What the hell is the Surgeon Lord doing all the way down here? He's gonna defend the castle with uh, that sorry piece of 99 troops. Oh, they're actually gonna save it. Look at that. Good job, AI. For once, I didn't have to do anything. Anyways. I think I'm gonna end this here, and he's going to besiege that on his own as well. The balls on these fucking samurai guys, it's unbelievable. Right, so my neighbor does seem to want to drill at 9 in the evening. We'll see if it's gonna be heard or not on stream. Because it's not that loud this time around. But anyways. Let's continue. Right. I added two more mods in. One changes the culture. Of the villages and settlements. Once you actually take them over. So that's nice. And I got another one that actually adds. A little bit more realistic. Like um. Surrender, surrender tweaks it's called so once you outnumber the enemy by a lot they could they'll actually gonna like uh, you know give up so, so we don't need to fight like a in a castle battle where there's only like five enemies left in there or something like that. plus this is gonna make it easier to recruit and, and 
I need to make another recruitment uh, template. I just think or is this actually. That's gonna be easier like this. Um, how do we yeah, right click removes it? Add these in again. Which one did we want? Uh, these ones? Let's say about a hundred, a hundred of them. And like 60 infantry. With the katanas on them. And just a better Ashigaru. No, never mind. Not those ones. These ones. And let's go with uh, 140 of them. Or 120 should be enough. Plate manager. Well, let's add a couple of those elite unit. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so infantry. That's the gin. Let's see how these cost three, five, eight. Go with those. I actually ran into these guys. Let's like add 40 of those into the garrison. Template manager save. I also need to get uh, companions that are actually gonna manage this for us. Because the ones we have in there are not. Aging looters. Okay, this guy's with us. Alright, we're gonna make another commander out of him. We do need to two of them to actually be in the garrison. Actually crashed the game, so let's um, let's get her out. All right, we're at war with the Kazites. We're gonna go deal with them. We'll li try to lift the siege a little bit later. Culture here is Desogen, so we should have an easier time of like holding on to any of these. Now that is the plan. The loyalty is going up, good. And the troops have changed as well, nice. So it does work.
do remember we were we t took this and this one over here seems uh no we took this then we went over there to besiege it then this was besieged so i had to go back usually how it goes Let's see Yeah, they are a lot weaker than us. Empire is still pretty good. It's holding on. Okay, I'm gonna let this guy recruit a little bit. And then we're gonna go back to war with these guys. Oh, the... hmm, what can I, what else can we take? Maybe like this bit here. That's going to be good enough for now. Let's see if they're actually going to win this battle over here. Actually did. Nice. No, come on. There we go. Let's get one uh, fight in for a warm up. Still have a shitload of skirmishers, even though I stopped uh, actually recruiting them. Activating, activating. All right, skirmish cap. Come back, come back. Or I can just do that. Now they kind of have to charge us. What are they archers trying to do here? Like these guys are already running away. Horse okay, how about you? Hold our attack. Just kill him. I'm telling they actually like skirmish, even though I told them to not shoot. And it fucking looks like it. No! They're not even worth taking at this point. Catch the other guy. Probably not. Yep, 
Yeah, there's no way. Let's scout the south again. 200, right, this had more garrison than the city over there. Which was real fucking funny. You wanna fight? You wanna fight? Maybe if we leave him here, this guy's gonna catch him. For us. Come on, come on. Never mind. Ooh. Is the AI actually going to manage to siege something down? Oh, right. We don't want to join sieges, uh, AI sieges, because they're not going to bring the walls down. That's going to suck for us. So let me see how big of an army can I gather. Do have a decent amount of influence? Why are the garrisons so freaking low? And I mean, most of them are militia. I mean, that's to be expected, I guess, from the AI. Question now is, are we gonna... They stopped sieging that and they're gonna go raid. Over here. No, oh, they're gonna get fucked. It seems we did spawn like right next to each other. <laughs> oh, that's so satisfying. We're gonna fight the big army after this as well. Give me a shitload of skirmisher cabinet. of shields in the infantry as well so that's gonna be a bit helpful we can just tell them to charge and there's uh, not that many, many archers amongst them you want to fight you want to fight or run away Or we can just do this, like, uh, stay behind the enemy so they focus, you, focus on you and they just get shot in the back. By your own troops. Seems to work out fine. Fuck did the big army go? Let's try and find okay there they are. I'll let them just get out of the woods. And we're gonna attack them. If we can actually catch up, yes we can. Good. 
And then we're probably going to take the castle over there. There's the new. Okay, this map is actually perfect for us. Hide our infantry like behind the hill there a little bit. Yeah, Jesus, 165 skirmish cav on their side. All time to begin kill him, killing them. Where are you off in such a hurry? I think there's that's their king as well. slice through through them you can say it feels like a little bit like fight uh, playing one of the dynasty warriors games kind of when he kills already i think that was a triple kill as well nice Basically, since I did that, the mod that actually changes the culture of a settlement, we can actually take anything we want and hold it. It's not going to be a culture issue. Loyalty issues. Now, I might not be able to just go in there and slice through them like this and if I, when I up the difficulty. Might, might get shot a little bit more and kill faster. I do love how the AI just ignores you, for the most part. Right, I should pay attention to their infantry as well. Maybe a little bit, maybe? Sixty-four kills. Oh shit! That, this wasn't a great idea. It seems like they decided to go back because they got reinforcements in. Look for us more time to kill these. Please do run into my infantry. I 
Apparently there's only four skirmisher archers left. Well, or one actually. Four cav units. <laughs> oh yeah, once we run into actual infantry we get wrecked. to spearmen is not the best of ideas. Little lances. These guys just whack and whack the enemy with a big stick. All, always works. Was that easy? Granted, we did the number them by a little bit. get so little influence maybe be, or experience for the troops maybe because uh, most of my troops are elites already not gonna matter that much probably right while we're here let's give this guy a her horse because he is gonna be leading a party Let's go besiege the zone here. Oh, come on. Run in there so we can kill you as well. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. Stay in there. Actually, even starve him out to death till we build up all the siege equipment. Yo, look at that. Would be nice if they actually did uh, take out the city there. Okay, so this is a part of the mod I added in. So, uh, huh. so, if I take the money, will they give up? I'm not exactly sure. I'll see what happens. Yeah, chance of surrender is high. Can, how can we... Maybe I should have quick saved so we can see what happens if you cl click the first button. Because th if that just ends the siege, like uh, leave them alone, I don't want to do that. If they actually like want us the siege, so they just outright surrender. Oh, well, that would be pretty good.
it was our body capacity. Still the same. And then there's the rest of parlay. Uh, so can we quick save during this? No, we cannot. So what's up, man? Good that you're here. See what you get with mods? You get options like this. And I guess that's it. They surrender, surrender, surrender the outright. Um, I don't think I'll be taking this for myself, so let's pillage it. I mean, we'll see how I feel about the mod if it makes the game too easy, because you can literally all you need to do is just amass a ton of troops on each siege battle and uh, they're gonna surrender. It might be uh, too easy then. Well, let's see. What happened? What would happen if you joined that army over there besieging that? I'm still not on the list, even. <laughs> well, I guess we have a lot of clans, and like, uh, but the starting position is just uh, these three. Are they actually gonna lose there? Let's see. A quick save this time as well. So we click on buttons for signs. Yeah, there's even less of them in here. And I'm not sure why the like uh, text ain't showing up on the balance, uh, balance of power bar again. Now I was in class, then I came back and ate. Now I'm streaming. I did manage to get the mods to work. We'll check it out later. T -t Tomorrow I'm more or less free. I just have to go to a hotel when it comes to like uh, internship and whatnot. So I have to see that. I don't think we're gonna be persuading anything, anyone with words. Oh, the, the those skills ain't gonna matter. Shogun 2 will probably be fun. I mean, I'm not that good at the game. We could do head-to-head. -head. And I mean, you don't really need to auto-resolve all the... Uh, or fight all the battles. We could auto-resolve some of them. And plus, I think you can... Uh, you can set the uh, difficulty of your campaign the lower than what I'm at, so it's gonna be easier for you than on my side. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, I forgot to get the influ uh, up the influence here. Critical mistake. It doesn't seem to be well for the the, the uh, what's it called? Uh, let's check here. The surrender tweaks tweaks are not working for this cat to this city, but they did work for the castle. And the settlement culture change does work. See, see it there. It immediately changed to the Testogen culture. I mean, the walls are broken here, so we can just attack immediately. Let me switch out the weapon.
I am gonna suffer a couple of casualties due to the ballista, but what can we do? Funny if you took damage from running into shit like that. Let me see if I can squeeze these guy up, these guys up there. Yes, we can actually. Well, is Bannerlord that fucking? Uh, Unstable on your system? I mean, to me, for me, it's pretty stable. Unless I, you know, install a mod, it causes it to crash like the Distinguished Service mod. Let's see it. I don't think we had like a, a hard crash in a while. What the? Did I just fall into the fucking wall there? Seems like it. back and gets insta-gibbed by the archers. campers in that tower guys go get them now oh my guy is taking that for fucking ever you, you literally fall in here into the fuck look at this That's not enough. Yeah, Banner Lord is polished. It's running real well. No bugs at all.
I'm not gonna grab this one either for our souls. Let's sell the prisoners. The only problem is the the, the town like and the villages extra like lose all their recruits instantly. I'm not sure what's gonna happen for the like uh, items you can buy. Are they gonna change to the? Doesn't seem like they changed to the ten uh, Tessagen culture. Yeah, I think they stay the same. That would be pretty cool if it's switched over immediately. Okay, let's see what can we what else can we do? Do we take that as well? Hmm. Okay, there's there's only fifty defenders in there. That's probably because they're already attacking it. So let's take this up here. Then piece them out. Yeah, it is taken. We're still not on the list. That's a bit weird. And again, we are clan level 3 still. Like, uh, same fucking guys are being, uh, are appearing on the list. Shit. Well, I guess never mind. Let's check who can we declare war on. I mean, uh, we could wait for an armor aggression pack to be over, but we can declare war on the Northern Empire. Here we could declare war on the Kuzites again immediately. Well, let's fight the Empire a little bit. Okay, 176 troop capacity. Let's go find some recruits. Okay, there we go. Now let's see, what are we gonna attack actually? Now I wish I had a mod sooner so I can actually grab these for myself. Myself. Third person. Let's see. Might be better if you go to war with the Ezrai. Because holding this here is going to be easier than holding anything up here. Hmm. What the hell is besieging that? Right, let's check their territories as well. Did they lose anything? They actually captured this and this. Well, uh, the empire seems like it's expanding a little bit. That's not good. Not good at all. But if we declare war on them, they might actually go and uh, take these back. I might actually just let them. So I can take this for myself. And uh, Lavernia, maybe. Like having this shit here for myself would be pretty good, like these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, these six here yeah, should be enough to sustain me. Easily enough. Let's check the ride. Right. Let's uh, expand all these. Cause that's gonna be a little bit too much in there. Uh, 
Upgrade archers? Nope. Azari Marmelukes? Nope. As a right? Sorry, there I go again. It's not Mass Effect. I know some of these are like higher tiers. Madla. We could like save a couple of these to dump into a new party, but we can recruit troops uh, a lot faster now, so that's not gonna be an issue. Let me just check the parties here. Okay, they're almost full capacity. Let's declare war. Two hundred influence. How many days do we need to wait? It's 12. Now you know what? Let's wait 12 days before we actually declare war on them. We, we, we are not gonna need the influence. But let me check the policies as well. What can we get? This for sure. Apparently no one else wants to vote on it. Wants to vote on this either. He says he needs uh, renown, then he proceeds to waste all the renown. Okay, we want this. We want uh, higher loyalty, that's for sure. We're gonna need that. I guess what what can we do? We can go around doing tournaments. Oh god, this is gonna be this is gonna take a while. These things do fuck all damage to the to the armored guys. stages like this it's gonna take forever oh this guy actually has a katana he has a better weapon not where Him not taking any damage. No wonder he's my companion. You will deal with him last. Or he'll deal with me last. This is another one of my companions, yup. Man, I didn't get into the second round. And who what? I don't think, yeah, she's a leader. Clan leader. Not mine, though. I guess we could uh, scout out the garrison unit, the amount of garrisons they have at all these places that are nearby. 
One. I mean, it's not like we're gonna be taking any of these, probably. 600 in there as well. You're going to come at us with the. Unless they're in war, at war on multiple fronts, which they kind of are. But cause cost 200 to actually propose. What about the Azerai? No. Kuzites? Kind of. They're gonna bring the armies that are almost like 2k in size. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to be pretty smart about uh, taking them out. Wouldn't be a bad idea to like kill off a portion of it, portion of the army, then just retreat. Might not be the, the worst idea ever. Our garrisons are pretty shit. Or apparently these guys actually... Uh, how did they get so many troops? The fast. I mean, it's not, uh, not like the garrisons matter that much. Still gonna get killed off easily. You don't save them. Six days. I guess we could uh, check out uh, if there's uh, any mission worth doing over here. Merchant Caravan. We could actually do this one. Uh, that fucking face. Uh. bring a couple of these in and then the archers or the companions Weapon is it? Come here, come here. The fuck is that? Jesus. I was thinking they all got the uh, the you know beat sticks. 